Hello there. Welcome. On this channel, I take some of my favourite books and I read them to you. Because I realise that most people don't have time to read because they're too busy watching videos. So it's a very useful thing to have someone with a beautiful calming voice like mine read a story to you so you don't have to take the time to do it yourself. Hello there. She seems startled. As you can see, I'm wearing my reading shirt, Cat in the Hat, Dr. Seuss, amazing writer. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. Phenomenal work. Today, I will be reading The Wisdom of Psychopaths by Kevin Dutton. It's a, it's a very interesting book, very interesting. As you will see from listening to me, read it. Well, the preface, we don't need that. Who reads the preface? Oh heavens. <laughs> it's almost like I've never actually touched a book before this moment. <laughs> I love reading. I love to spread reading. And I'm not doing this just because I'm trying to avoid looking for a job like my father likes to keep telling me. No, I'm doing this to help the people. To help you. You. <clears throat> excuse me, I seem to be parched. If you'll excuse me one moment, I'm going to go get myself a refreshment. And then we'll continue. And I'm back with one of my favorite drinks. Really helps while reading. You see, what I do is I take a cup of vodka, throw a little bit of red food coloring in there. So people don't realize you're just drinking pure vodka and try to admit you into alcohol rehab again. <laughs> Anyways, I've parched my thirst. Is that the right term? Doesn't matter. I've had a drink, and now I feel I'm prepared to read chapter one of this book to you. We're having fun, aren't we? This is fun. The Wisdom of Psychopaths. Chapter 1. Scorpio Rising. It appears we have a, a quote here from the late Winston Churchill. Great and good are seldom the same man. Think about that for a moment while I have a little bit more of my drink. Just think about that. And you know what? We don't have all day. So you, that's going to have to be enough thinking about that. We've got a book to read. These selfish, selfish bastards. A scorpion and a frog are sitting on the bank of a river. And but It seems my cat's scratching at the door. One moment. I just need to... I just really... I need to let my cat in. So she stops doing that. It's very distracting. Oh, cats. Cats. You know? <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Could you stop running around? Why did I give you a, a collar with a bell on it? It makes so much noise. Oh, wait. I have to sit like a gentleman like my dad taught me. A scorpion and a frog are sitting on the bank of a river, and both need to get to the other side. Hello, Mr. Frog, calls the scorpion through the reeds. Would you be so kind as to give me a ride on your back across the river? I have important business to conduct on the other side, and I cannot swim in such strong current. The frog immediately becomes suspicious. Join us next time for further reading of this book. We've run out of time for this segment, but next time we will continue along chapter one. Answer questions that we have, like, what does Winston Churchill have to do with a scorpion and a frog? When did scorpions and frogs start t learning how to talk. Why is there an owl on the cover of this book if we're talking about scorpions and frogs? Is the frog the psychopath? Is the scorpion the psychopath? So many questions that we need answered. Thank you for joining. Brad Reads. Have a good day. Where the heck is the turn off button? I feel like I'm just jamming my car. Don't drink my vodka, cat! You'll die, I'm pretty sure you'll die.